It can be seen as an old-fashioned pastime, but one college in Yorkshire is bringing it back into the 21st century. Sheepdog trialling has been well established in the UK since the 1870s and now the International Sheepdog Society wants the younger generations to learn the traditional skill. It's all geared towards building enthusiasm for young people from farms and from farming backgrounds who are going to work in agriculture to consider the use of dogs or to improve their use of dogs because they're a most marvellous working tool and it's gradually being lost. The skills are in danger of being lost. It's an initiative by the ISDS, the International Sheepdog Society. They're very keen that the colleges around the country should take it up. But this is a pilot scheme. It's part of a pilot scheme. They started it at Newton Rigg. With modern machinery forever changing and advancing in the world of farming, how important is it to keep traditions like these alive? Farming is so much more mechanised now, so much more diverse uh, sheep and, and such big numbers of everything. So many cows, so many sheep in flocks and herds that um, people are tending to use quads to save time and, and motorbikes, but you cannot beat a good working dog. In day to day life you have to work your arms and use, so uh, this is the way we do it. And I think a dog is so much better than a, a quad bike like say most farmers use because they're just they get in places where quad bikes are and it's just a lot easier. A quad bike costs a lot more, or a vehicle, than a dog, and then you can bond with your dog, you can partner with your dog, and it's never, they don't really, really break down more than vehicles, so it's just a lot easier with a dog, and more of a bond, because it's quite lonely, like where I am in North York Moors, so it's quite a lonely job when you're up there on your own. It's nice to have a dog with you, because you just bond more up there, and start working sheep, and it's just, your dog knows where they are, and it's a lot easier for you to do. The skills that the students have learnt from the course could prove invaluable in their day-to-day -day lives. I work on a hill farm, so you need a dog, otherwise you can't do it. So, um, yeah, def that's definitely helped me. I think it's special because it's a in an arable place mainly. So you cut your when you're doing practicals, it's more arable based, but this gives a opportunity to do a bit of livestock. A bit, I know they got the dairy here, but bit more with the sheet work, something you wouldn't really do in class. That because a lot of people don't have a dog, so they want people with dogs to come and work on Mars or on in lowland fields and what have you. And um, I don't know, she's, she's looking more opportunities, I'd say, the courses as well, because she was partly trained because I did it before and I've not got the resources at home. So she's, when she, we've been coming here, it's been a lot easier because we've had the sheep, we've had the pens and we've had the knowledge from Jackie to work with the dogs and the sheep. But the course isn't a walk in the park. The students need to keep focused when it comes to putting what they've learnt into practice. But I think it's so important that when you're training with sheep and sheepdogs, I bang on and bang on about it, they must understand their sheep. They've got to learn sheep. It doesn't matter how good you are with your dog, if you don't understand sheep, you won't ask him to do the right thing. You'll irritate the dog and, and the sheep won't do what you want. Yeah, just learning different ways to work sheep and trying to train your dog to different sheep because all, diff all sheep are different. And um, just to see how she reacts and how getting her started off is more the difficult part uh, because it's quite hard to train them because the, the mind's there and they want to work. It's just trying to control that and making sure she does the job right. The how to work different dogs, because I suppose my dog's quite placid and wants to, quite steady, but then there's other dogs that Jackie has who's head on and just psychology of the dogs, I guess, and the sheep and working different types. Jackie has been sheepdog training for nearly 25 years and has found that passing the skill along to the younger generations to be very rewarding. I cannot describe how thrilled I was to be offered the chance to do this because I absolutely love working with the, the students, are so terrific. They learn quickly, they enjoy it, they're so keen and it's also practical. They're going to use the talent that, that they have and the dogs have, so it's so rewarding. All mechanisation is useful and it's inevitable, but if we lose this link between man and dog and sheep, it'll be gone, I mean, it'll be gone, and then it'll be another thing that people don't know how to... And you see, we got a lot of people, very, very many people love 
to do sheepdog trialling and training. Following the success of the course, it's set to return in September, with the hope that these students will keep sheepdog training alive for years to come. Abby Walker, That's TV.